Well, as you can see, I have a cell phone here, and this one is the LG Optimus One uh, P500, and I'm not sure if it's called the same thing in every country, but I'm pretty sure the model number, the P500, is the same. And this phone originally ran uh, Android 2.2 Froyo, and I updated it a couple of days ago after I got it. I bought it second hand, so it is used, quite well used actually. It's got scratches and stuff all over the back. But anyway, I updated it to uh, 2.3 Gingerbread, and I didn't really care for it. It was okay, but uh, it was kind of laggy and didn't work very well, so um, I decided to go online and see if I could find a way to uh, put the newest OS on here. So this is uh, Jelly Bean, and it's a Cyanogen mod, and I think if I'm not mistaken it's 10.1, and I can go into my file manager real quick and I can make sure of that. So if I go all yeah, it's uh, Cyanogen mod 10.1.0 RC2 P500, and uh, that's one of the files you're gonna need, um, or another one. You can you can find other files online. I, that just happens to be the one that I used. Um, you might need the Google Apps. I didn't flash those. I tried to and it kinda screwed up the operating system. The home button wouldn't work. Uh, the search button didn't work and a, a lot of the stuff like the notifications wouldn't work properly so I just left the G apps out and actually I'll show you real quick again what I did. Um, if I can find it here. Oh, downloads. So what I actually did was I went into the G apps uh, zip folder and I took out just the just the APK files. So if there was something that was missing and I needed it like Gmail or or something like that, then I could install it from that folder. So anyway, what I'm going to do today is I'll show you guys how to actually get the Cyanogen mod on here and you have to be um, rooted before you can do it. So now that we're on the computer we're gonna need a few things. We're gonna need our USB cable for our phone. We're gonna need to put our phone into USB debugging mode and to get there you need to uh, go into the settings, go to uh, applications then go to development yeah. and then USB debugging is the first option so make sure that's uh, clicked and uh, then we gotta go find some software so the first thing you're gonna need is uh, the drivers for your phone so if you go on the LG website and download um, their support tool I think it comes with the driver so uh, or you can probably just find the driver so just go on there put in your model number your you know all the info about your phone and they should have the driver that you need or you can google it or whatever so after you install the driver plug in your phone uh, make sure USB debugging is turned on and then we need to go to uh, Google and we have to find a routing software you can use whatever you want. The one I used is called uh, Super One Click, and I just went to Google, uh, typed that in, and it was the first result. I, I'm pretty sure it was. And uh, I'm just gonna stop real quick and make a disclaimer and just say that everything you do here is at your own risk, and uh, don't follow the steps if you're not willing to. Uh, take the responsibility for what you do to your phone. So anyway, now that that's done, uh, go to Google and type in Super One Click. And uh, the one I used is, uh, I guess,
guess the second result but you can use uh, CNET to download it too I just don't like all the crap that they put in when you download it so uh, just go to this website and like I said you can get it from whatever website you want and there's the download link right here so now you have to also go and find the G apps which I didn't really use and you have to find the firmware so if you want the signage in mod 10 or 9 or 7 or whatever go to Google type that in and type in the model of your phone and you should be able to find a few uh, I'll just show you one that I actually found and it's this one here so I'll leave a link to this uh, one in the description because I know that it does work and I'm not sure I don't see the G apps here so there's also another site and you can just google the G apps because there's tons of sites with that on it but here's another site with a different um, firmware and another G app file so like I said you can google that and find it just about anywhere now all you have to do is open up super one click uh, either donate or not donate and then click root and since my phone's already rooted it's actually not gonna root my phone so here you can see it says your your device already appears to be rooted are you sure you want to continue and I don't want to but you'll want to let it run through and do what it needs to do so now that that's all finished and your phone is rooted go to where you saved your files and my G apps are right here and your uh, signage and mod file so I have mine right here and I have a few different files and different um, firmwares and stuff so what you need to do is plug in your uh, phone's micro SAM and transfer these to the root directory of your SAM and once you're done with that just click off of everything unplug your phone and we're ready for the next step so now that I'm back on the original factory firmware um, I'll show you on the phone what you need to actually put this uh, signage and mod on here or any other custom ROM so you have to go to the Play Store download ROM manager so once you open this up what you have to do is uh, click on recovery setup and then install or update recovery uh, clockwork mod recovery so click on that I'm not gonna do it because it's already done so now that we have a custom recovery on our phone all we have to do is power it off and then power it back on but this time you're gonna hold the volume down button the power button and the home button at the same time at least that's how I've been doing it anyway and it works so so now that we're in clockwork mode recovery uh, we have a bunch of options here uh, reboot system now apply update from SD card wipe, fa wipe data factory reset wipe the uh, cache partition install zip from SD card which is what we're gonna need to do uh, back up and restore and I highly recommend you do that too uh, mount and storage mounts and storage I'm not sure what that is advanced uh, settings and we're gonna need some of the advanced settings so the first thing we're gonna need to do is uh, go to wipe data and factory reset and you use this button to choose volume buttons to uh, scroll up and down and the power button to go back and uh, wipe the uh, cache partition which I will do just to show you so once you uh, choose wipe cache partition it'll go through all of its stuff and it says complete so now you 
scroll down to advanced and wipe down the cache and click that button to uh, continue scroll down to where it says yes and wipe down the cache and it doesn't take very long to do it at all and now go back and now we need to install zip from SD card so choose that and then choose zip from SD card so pick that and go down to where you uh, saved your zip file and that's where I saved mine so it should look something like cm10 dot whatever or cm7 or 9 or whatever you picked and choose that and let it go through all of its steps and it'll take a while but it will get done eventually I'm not gonna do it because I'm just gonna restore mine from a backup but uh, after that's done if you want to install the G apps you can I didn't like I said but you can do it if you want and I think on most of the websites they usually recommend it but uh, my phone didn't work properly when I installed the G app so I didn't bother so once that's all done uh, go back to where it says reboot now and you should be good to go